Hey guys, it's Nicole, and I'm back with a 12 by 12 frame that I altered, and then two simple cards. I hope everyone had a good holiday. Um, over the holiday weekend, uh, a friend of ours, actually on the 21st, I believe, they had a baby boy, and they named him James Adam. And so I wanted to make them a little something for his nursery. And this was a good opportunity to make something boy-like since I've been making so many girl things for Reagan. But I really love the way this frame turned out. This is a 12x12 MDF frame that you can get from um, Michael's in the Wood section. It's that pressed wood. And what I did was I used um, a few hauls ago. I think it was Labor Day weekend. I got this. Sorry, I'm on my floor in my scrap room. I got this a Recollections paper pad that was the Portobello Road, and it actually looks like the mind's eye, uh, my Mind's Eye collection that came out, and I never had a chance to use it. These are the papers in it. Um, I never had a chance to use it because I just wasn't doing boy projects, and this was just the perfect opportunity. It's, it's all blue, this nice slate color, and creams. Um, so I used a few papers from that collection. And I use this one right here, um, this one right here, and then the background, if I can find it, oh, I use this one on the banners, I'll show you that in a second, and then if I can find it, I would show you, hmm, well, I'll just have to show you on the project, um, but I use this paper collection, and then I use some of my MFT dies and stuff. And since I'm on my floor, I don't have all those handy, but I'll just kind of go through how I made it. So this is it. And the first thing I did was um, I chose this background paper. And on the bottom of the paper, it actually had this plane um, with a banner, uh, a prop plane carrying a banner. And I used the Therese, or I'm sorry, not Therese Collins, Tuesday, Technique Tuesday um, baby stamp set that, Sherry got me t share in Japan. I love that Sam said it has gotten so much use. And I stamped on the banner this Hello Sweet Baby. The world is a bit brighter now that you are here. And then in here I also stamped the Welcome Sweet Baby. Because I figured they could put the photo of, the hospital photo of the baby there. So the first thing I did was I adhered this paper. I sanded, I cut it down. I sanded the edges. And then I inked it using charcoal um, chalk ink by Colorbox. And then the next thing I did was um, using that same ink I stamped here. And then I used some Tim Holtz corner pieces just at the top. Then using the M A MFT banner die, and it's three pieces. It's this uh, bigger triangle in the background, this smaller triangle, and then this um, little fringe here. And my idea was I didn't want to make it too girly by putting flowers and bling. So I really thought using the cream felt that I got from Paper Tray Ink would really soften it and make it look baby without being too girly. So I used two different papers, uh, the plaid and then this darker blue paper that looks like this. Um, and made the banner, and then I used the felt to just kind of make this part. And then I used some of the paper tray ink button twine to hang it. And the baby's name is James Adam, and these little metal pieces here I got in a rack um, from Sherry, who is scrapping and wrapping a long time ago. I, I got these at Hobby Lobby in like a copper, and I was in love with them, so Sherry bought me the silver ones in a rack, and I love them. So I spelt James, and then his middle name is Adam. So here I made a smaller banner that says Adam. And then this is sort of my signature move on frames. If you watch any of my frame videos, um, you know that I love either taking tool or ribbon um, or some sort of product and doing like a crosshatch on the side and hanging a charm. I just feel like this is wasted space if you don't do anything with it. So since this is the baby's, like, trip home or being born, I hung one of the Tim Holtz tags that says Journey. And then over here I used some of the um, polka dot paper. And I like this paper because the glitter isn't that loose glitter that gets everywhere. It's, like, good glitter paper, good quality. And I used um, a book plate and put Welcome Sweet Baby. 
Then I used the Sizzix 3D Flower um, die, and I made two small flowers and one large. And let me just tip this up. And then I put some um, slate-colored pearls in the middle. And then on either side of those is some Tim Holtz film strip that I cut with little um, kind of fishtail sides like this. And I really like the masculine look that gives so that the flowers don't look so girly. And then I hung some what is this crinkle ribbon in charcoal gray and then I put um, a charm of a baby pin there and that's really it I kept it very simple so that it would travel well because it has to make its way to Georgia and I don't want it to fall apart and then they could put the photo there and it was so I really enjoyed making it because I love this paper line and it was doing something for a boy so that's that project, so I hope you enjoy. And then I, I made two really simple cards for other people that I'll share with you. Um, my brother's turning 34, and obviously he's not a scrapbooker, so I kept this really simple. I used uh, my mind's eye paper line, and I can't remember which one it is. Um, and then I used my new MFT's numbers die to um, cut out the 34, and then I just used some crystal stickles on it to give it a little bit of character. And then these are some Recollections glitter pieces in the corner. And then on the inside I used my other new die. Um, that's the polka dot frames. And then I stamped Hope You Have, uh, Hope Your Birthday is Simply Wonderful. Kept it real simple because it's got to go in the mail and be flat. And then I used, and I'm so excited about this. Hold on guys, sorry. Um, I told you I got the new, or it's new to me anyways, the Janome um, So Mini sewing machine, and it is awesome. It is so much better than my Pixie Mini that I had. Um, there's an awesome Stamp TV video on how to thread it, how to fill your bobbin, how to stitch corners, and I made this card. If you can see, this is, oh gosh, it's not going to focus, but... Um, I stitched all around the edges and I'm so proud of it. It looks so good and now I'm going to start stitching on cards and layouts. But um, this is the card that I made um, using a pure innocence die and it says sending smiles. It has a couple um, I am roses on the side and some bling. And then when you open it, it just looks like that on the inside. Really cute, and this can be either a thank you card or a birthday card. It could be anything, but this is actually going to be a thank you card. And I paper pieced her little dress, and then I colored her hair and skin. And I also colored her shoes. So cute. So that's what I've been up to um, scrapbooking, and I'm also addicted right now. I've been reading The Hunger Games, and it is so good. Um, so I'm trying to read it before the movie comes out. But that's really all I've done over the holiday weekend other than visit tons of family and um, spend time with family. So I hope you guys had a good Christmas. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.